Welcome back to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz, our guest Bob Blumenfield, member of the California State Assembly. And sir, over the last couple of years, uh, Californians have been very despondent over the fact that budget crises have required parks to be closed. But then we learned that there was $54 million found, and that was more than enough to keep parks open, but it caused a tremendous amount of consternation. That being said, there's a bill that has been uh, pushed through that's going to change that calculation. Talk to us. Yeah, well, I, I authored this bill, um, uh, AB 1478, specifically to deal with sort of the, the, the park issue, to create a two-year moratorium on park closures, uh, and to take some of this, this which, what you're calling found money, which was money that was really hidden by some uh, park officials who have been right. fired um, because they, they weren't supposed to. They weren't spending it on anything nefarious, but they, they weren't accounting for it. Of course. Um, and so that money um, is being used to help match dollar for dollar money that people have put in to donate. Which has been amongst the most frustrating for Californians because Californians got together both more wealthy and less wealthy to raise money to keep parks open and they feel like they've been had. Well, I, I wouldn't say they've been had, but, but, but this bill is a way of saying, we hear you I because hear you. this is a bad, this is, it, it looks bad, the perception's bad, the situation is bad. So we wanted to, to sort of bend over backwards and correct that situation. At the you know, e even though in terms of money, I mean, the park, the maintenance deferral is $3 billion. Right. We're talking about $54 million that have been hidden and ultimately the $20 million that can keep, that can keep the parks moving. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the scale, it's very different. It's not like this, this found money is going to solve our parks problem or our budget problem by any means. It's a, it's a drop in the bucket. But perception-wise and reality-wise and the importance of the parks, particularly my parks, Los Encinos, Santa Susana, right. the others, we wanted to make sure they stayed open. At the same time, I know it was important to get that matter behind you because as we speak, the governor is pushing a tax initiative, Proposition 30, which as of late seems to be slipping a bit in the polls. It's still above 50 percent, but the cigarette tax was above 50 percent in June and that didn't pass. And so I want to get a sense from you as you're on the campaign trail. What are you hearing about Prop 30? Because if it does not pass, from what the governor says, the ramifications could be really draconian. The ramifications are huge. It's not a question of whether the budget will be balanced, because the budget is balanced either way. The question is, what kind of California do we want to live in? And if this initiative doesn't pass, education will be dramatically slashed. Five billion dollars will be lost in, in K-12 education hundreds of millions in UC, CSU. I want to ask you about the CSU system because they have been very out front about what they think about Prop 30. They say they're not politicking, but the CSU system has sent a letter to every person seeking admission saying that if Prop 30 does not pass, we will have to cut the number of slots of people we admit for 2013. That's just reality. That's, that is just a, a cold, hard reality. The money's not there. They have, they have very few options to deal with it, and they want people to know what, you know, what the situation is. Why are those slots being cut? Why are, why do, are tuitions? Do you think that letter was appropriate? Absolutely. I think that letter is, is, is saying what the facts are in front of us. If you, don't tell, if you don't tell people what the facts are and then they complain afterwards, uh, they'll be more upset than if you actually were able to, to let them know in advance. So as you campaign, as you talk to voters, what are their feelings? I mean, you know, the Amazon tax kicked in. L.A. County has a transportation tax on the ballot as well. You know, there's a, little, a lot of taxes coming before us. I mean, nobody likes taxes. Nobody likes paying taxes. I don't like paying taxes. But we also want to make sure that we live in the kind of California that, that uh, we've come to know and love. And if we don't pay the basics and have, you know, we've cut a tremendous amount, $54 billion over the last four right. years. Um, and we're feeling it. Okay. Um, thank His you. name is Bob Blumenfield. He's a member of the California State right. Assembly. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching. Tom Motor Cable's Local Edition. All right. <laughs>